Daniel, get your ass in here. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Try to arrest me for my multivitamins looking like heroin. Yeah, that's pretty solid. I told him, I, like, I was like, dude, they're multivitamins. I was like, I can flex for it if you want. He, he was just like... You probably didn't think that was funny. No, he looked at me like I was a dick. His buddy laughed though. Let's take a look at this. It's pretty cool. That's a cool looking bottle. Yeah. Looks like Joanna. Yeah. All right. The Tidwell Taste Tour is back with more of our spoils from the uh, wonderful ethnic uh, supermarket. The H Mart, again. Um... What's well, an ethnic supermarket? Whoa, yeah, whoa, keep whoa. going. No, it's a great story. <laughs> this right here is the Ginbai San no Oni Koroshi Premium Sake. Alcohol, 15 to 16% by volume. Damn. From the Yamamoto Honke Company Limited. Yamamoto oh, Honke. Honke. <laughs> they put that on there just so Americans would look dumb. From Kyoto, Japan, which is where a lot Kyoto. of the sake... They're yeah. just calling us honkies on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would. It's where a lot of the sake, uh, the, the real good sake places are. It's from... Stupid honky <laughs> brewing. Uh, Saki it to me, Eric. Well, I'm, do I'm gonna. Alright, so, some nice j Japanese sake from Kyoto. I'm, I must say I like the bottle. That's actually really That's good. Not so bad. That's tasty as shit. That is a decent sake. I've That's had, good, man. I, I like, like the bottle. Of sake. I'll tell you that, I like the bottle. That's actually really good. I, I like that, that a lot. Bottle. I feel like this wouldn't be one of the ones that's because a lot of them are served warm. Some of them are very good that way. The warm, from what I've heard in Japanese culture, the warm sakis are traditionally the ones that are served that are that are of lower quality, and they do that, I guess, to to hide to mask the quality. Yeah. Same thing with ones that are just like super American cold. beers being served so cold. Super yeah. cold, right? Um, and I've heard that the, what they do with Japanese, like real high end sakes, is they basically they chill it, but mm. it's it's like sort of like a wine cellar. Temperature, like yeah, 55 yeah, yeah. degrees or something. Makes sense. So, uh, this is really good. This is like an 8.0. Not the best like sake it. I've ever had. I like it's it. It's got a little bit of a slightly whack aftertaste. I it's really like term. it. I'm not a sake man. Do you like it's it though? Okay. Do you think it's better or worse than the one last night? Uh, I think the one last night may be better. Yeah, I think it might be too, and I don't remember what rating I gave it. I. I, I I think that's slightly high ABV for a sake, isn't it? It is. That's high. That I think that maybe sake. there's like a kind of a, an alcohol burn taste. A little. Maybe a little off putting. I and if they don't get a burn. I don't mean, get a burn. Not either. really. Maybe, maybe a slight yuckiness. Like an aftertaste. I mean, not horrible, but I mean, it's decent. I like it. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's slightly sweet. You can definitely taste the rice in there, as you can with all sakes. Um, it's definitely s sweeter. You know, you can tell that there's some sort of sugar... Do they make there. a brown rice sake for the car <laughs> that, conscious? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Uh, probably not there. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my rate. I'm going to give it a 7.5. I think it's really good, though. I like it. The bottle's pretty badass. Mm -hmm. I mean, can, can we up the rating for the bottle? <laughs> uh, I don't know if that'd be fair. It probably wouldn't be fair. I think I'm going to... I don't remember what I gave the one last time. I think I'm going to give this a... Five and a half. Five and a half, okay. I mean, it's good. I have to give it, I, I, I give slight bonus points because I, yeah. I'm i not into sake. Right. I'm not a big sake I just have to compare either. it to the I other sake. I have quite sake a few sakes, and I do like a lot of sakes. I think this one threw me off a little bit because it's, it's higher ABV than I'm used to. So you gotta take that, yeah. taking that into account, uh, six five. Okay. Six right. five. It's, it's pretty good. Better than a lot of sakes I've had. Definitely not the best. Okay. Uh, basically the flavor, and feel free to chime in if you disagree, the flavor is, uh, that of rice. It's pretty sweet. Um, it's, other than that, pretty just neutral. Not much aftertaste. It's a bit neutral. Not, not a lot of burn, I don't think. Um, it's like the Switzerland of sakis. Yeah, actually, it's, that's a funny little reference there. That's kind of true. All right, so anyways, the, this is the Ginbai San no Oni Ginbai San no Oh Koshi. Premium Saki. From Kyoto, Japan, the yeah. Yamamoto Honki Company. 7.5, 6.5, 5.5. Yamamoto Honki. It's a nice sake. If you can find your, if you can get your hands on it and find it somewhere, good, I would do that. Anything to add? I've said my piece. Anything to add? Got a pretty solid beer going this week, I think. Did well taste or be my coming in all right. I think I'm going to get rid of it soon, though. You got to vary. 